but Surrey has to make a decision. Not the least of which it's costing, you know, uh, the taxpayers of Surrey $8 million a month. BC's public safety minister prodding Surrey City Council for a date on their decision to either stick with the RCMP or go forward with the Surrey Police Service. In a strongly worded letter to council on Thursday, Mike Farnworth says he's gravely concerned that Surrey's leadership will make a choice without looking at all the information. I think Minister Farnworth is very frustrated, as are the residents of Surrey. They want us to make a decision and let's get on with it. Former Mayor Doug McCallum started the transition to the SPS in 2018, but it was put on pause in 2022 after Mayor Brenda Locke beat him in the municipal election. A 12.5% property tax hike was also approved by Council in the 2023 budget to help pay for the cost of keeping the RCMP. The former Attorney General says what's best for Surrey is ultimately the province's choice. The province could step in, but I think the province has been more more than fair, more than patient, and, and this, it's an important decision. In late April, the province released an independent but heavily redacted report on why the SPS is the right choice for Surrey. Some councillors signed non-disclosure agreements to see all the information. Sources tell City News Mayor Locke hasn't signed it yet. The decision is based on what's best for the residents, and there's nothing in the report that I've seen that makes me change my mind. It is the best decision for our city to have the RCMP financially, 100% it is. Uh, we released the report with a strong recommendation was to continue with the Surrey Police Service and that we are prepared to uh, put $150 million to assist the city of Surrey uh, in continuing with that transition. In a statement, Mayor Locke says in part the city will make an informed decision but not be pressured or bullied into a hasty one. Kirjunos, City News.